we can keep Syrians safer in Syria as well. And the President has been unwilling to keep his word that he gave over four years ago in this regard. We should have a no-fly zone in Syria. We should try to set up safe zones in Syria to keep Syrians safe inside Syria. Our leaders can't assure our safety, and they want us to follow them into the abyss. It doesn't make sense to the American people. There are other options to follow. The President's unwilling to follow them. It does not mean that those of us who have a differing opinion need to sit down and keep quiet. I think it more important that we stand up and be heard. And as much as that bothers the President, he's going to continue to have to hear us, even if he won't listen. And on the topic of not listening, let's get to ISIS. Despite everything we've seen in the last 12 or 13 days, the President and his administration continues to minimize the threat of ISIS. The President called them a group of killers who are good at social media. The Secretary of State just yesterday said they're not 10 feet tall. This is eerily reminiscent of the President's characterization of them as the JV not quite long ago. I would be fascinated to see the President go to Paris and speak to the families who lost their loved ones 12, 13 days ago and tell them that ISIS is just a group of killers who are good at social media. It would be fascinating to see the Secretary of State go to those Parisian families and tell them that ISIS is not 10 feet tall. This is just a transparent attempt to justify a failed policy. The President should just admit he underestimated these folks. He underestimated the nature of the threat, the severity of the threat, and to then come up with a strategy to be able to confront the greater threat. Often wrong, never in doubt. You can see through his comments, not just on Syria, but on ISIS, that this is a continuing theme with this administration and its foreign policy. Continue to deny reality. Reminds me, you know, of the old country song, right? You're going to believe me or your lying eyes. There's only so many times you can say that to the American people and have them believe it. There's only so many times you can say that as President of the United States and not continue to lose credibility and, as a result, support. Listen, Mr. President. Listen to the American people and their common sense. The threat is not minimal. And the actions and the words that try to characterize it as minimal are not only naive, but they are gravely dangerous. This is a cult of evil, everyone. And we can never allow this cult of evil, ever, to take hold in our country. And we can never be willing to allow it to live among us. It's the antithesis of what it means to be an American to willingly participate in this. It's visited too many places in addition to Paris. We could all go through the list of cities where ISIS has already struck. I don't know if they're 10 feet tall, but they're looking pretty tall in those cities. And I don't want them to look that tall or anywhere near that tall in cities like New York or Washington, Chicago or Los Angeles, San Francisco or Minneapolis.